Hi, this is Griffin with Wayson Furniture. Today we're going to be building the Mainstays 5 Shelf Bookcase. This is the true black oak finish and it can be found in stores at Walmart. Before you start, you want to make sure that none of your panels have any damage and that you have all of your hardware. If you have any issues, you can call the number on the front of the manual and we'll get you taken care of. If everything is in order, then we can begin assembly. For step one, you need to grab your A1 panel four wooden dowel pieces, this little screw, a washer, and the safety strap. To start, we can insert the four wooden dowel pieces into these inner two pre-drilled holes on either side of the panel. Next, we're gonna put the washer onto the screw, then put the screw through one end of the strap and then locate on your A1 panel a little pre-drilled hole on the top. If it's on the top, then it's on the other side. And go ahead and attach your safety strap. And you wanna, once you get it, the screw going, you wanna hold the strap um, towards the outside. For step two, we're gonna keep our A1 panel and then grab our C1 and D1 panels. We want to position these so that the C1 panel is on my left, the D1 panel is on my right, and then there are the four pre-drilled holes uh, on this side. There's no pre-drilled holes here. So first we can grab the C1 panel, unfinished side facing up, then grab our A1 panel, again unfinished side facing up, and the safety strap face towards me. Then we can attach it. Once you have attached uh, the C1 panel, you can then use two of your screw ones and two caps to uh, fully attach it. So there's two pre-drilled holes on the sides out here. Go ahead and insert two screws into them and tighten them down. Once you've attached those two screws, you can then cover them up with two of your caps. Now we're going to repeat this with our D1 panel. Uh, remember, four little pre-drilled holes, unfinished side facing up, and secure with your two screw number ones. Once you've attached those two screws, you can cover them up with your two little caps. For step three, we're gonna keep this assembly we've been working on and then grab our G panel. We want to position our G panel so that the unfinished side is facing up and then the side with um, the most pre-drilled holes is facing towards this outer side. So this only has four pre-drilled holes, so we're gonna put that up against uh, this unit. Then we're going to grab four of our screw number ones and we're going to slide them through these outer two pre-drilled holes into uh, the pre-drilled holes on the D1 and C1 panels. So you just want to get them in there first in all four corners and then you can tighten them down all the way. For step four, now that we've attached this G panel, we can grab four of our cam bolts and it, we're going to insert those into the four inner pre-drilled holes on this back side of the G panel. So for step five, we're gonna keep our same assembly and grab our I1 panel. Uh, locate your two cam lock holes and go ahead and insert two cam locks into them. You wanna see those plus and minuses and face them towards the outside of the panel. Next, we can set up our I1 panel with the unfinished side facing up and slide 
uh, into those cam bolts, or those cam bolts into the cam locks. Once inserted, turn the cam lock clockwise to tighten. In step six, we need to grab our B1 and F1 panels and six wooden dowel pieces. We're going to insert two wooden dowel pieces to each of the edges, the B1 panel. Then we're going to insert two wooden dowel pieces into the F1 panel. So on the side with four pre-drilled holes, insert them into the outer two pre-drilled holes. Now for step seven, we're going to keep our B1 and F1 panels and we need to grab two of the number eight screws. So locate on your B1 panel, this is the unfinished side, locate the finished side and you'll see that there are four pre-drilled holes. So we're going to slap our F1 panel on there. And then we're going to secure it with the two screws. Now for step eight, we're going to come back to this other assembly and we're going to keep this new one we just built. We want to position it so that our B1 panel has the unfinished side facing up and the F1 panel is faced towards me. We're going to attach it to the I1 panel and we're going to secure it with two of your screw number ones and cover those up with the little caps. For step nine, we're going to grab our H1 panel. Uh, first, you want to locate your cam lock holes, and we want to align those on this side and have our unfinished side facing up. Then we want to grab our two cam locks and insert those into the pre-drilled holes with the plus and minuses facing towards these uh, cam bolts. Now we can slide those in. Then we can attach it to this bottom piece using the wooden dowels. Once those have been inserted, you can tighten by turning clockwise. Next, we want to grab our two screw number ones and screw them in on these bottom two pre-drilled holes. Now we can cover up those two screws we just screwed in with your two little caps. And then lastly, we can cover up those cam locks with the four larger caps. So for step 10, we're going to grab our J and our K back panels. First, we're going to lay down the J panel over the larger section of the unit and be sure to align it evenly on all sides. Okay, and we're only going to nail the sides and the top. Do not nail this yet. And we have our handy little nail holder now. So all you have to do is simply insert the nail into there line up the unit's edge with the edge of the nail holder. So hold it up against the unit, get it started, hold the nail holder out, and finish nailing. Okay, now that you've nailed down the sides and the top, you can then go ahead and move over to our K panel. 
just like on our J panel, it should be a little top uh, perforated on the thing. So we want to put that at the top of the unit. And we simply just need to line it up and then nail it down. Okay, now that you've nailed down the sides and the bottom, we're then going to nail down um, both of these panels together. So you kind of want to locate this middle panel and then nail down right in the middle of it. Okay guys, now that we've uh, nail down these back panels we can now stand up the unit be sure not to skip this step as it's very important for the stability um, for step 11 we're going to grab our little shelf supports and we're going to insert four of them all at the same level for each shelf so at the bottom down here, I'm going to put four in the middle hole. Then up top there's two shelves, so I'm going to put eight shelf supports. We can now put our shelves in there and be sure to have the finished side facing out. And then whenever you find uh, the spot that you want to put the unit in, uh, use that safety strap to attach it to the wall as that will prevent it from falling over on somebody. <laughs> 